I want to show you a live look this morning at Allen Premium Outlets. Most other Sundays, this mall would be a few hours away from welcoming shoppers for another busy day. Instead, investigators are still on the scene after a gunman opened fire, leaving seven people in the hospital, killing eight. Now, we do want to give you an idea of where this is. The mall is on West Stacy Road in Allen, just off of Highway 75. This is a popular shopping destination with more than 120 stores. Our reporters are standing by to bring you team coverage right now from the mall and the hospital where victims are being treated. Here's what we know right now. That gunman opened fire just after 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Again, Eight people were killed, seven were injured. A police officer who just happened to already be on the scene then shot and killed that suspect. I want to go live right now to Chris Sadegi, who was at the mall in Allen this morning. Chris, what are you seeing today? Well, Mark, right now there is still a perimeter set up around the outlet mall. You can see this DPS trooper behind me keeping anybody from going into the entrance. Now, from my vantage point, I can still see several cars into that parking lot belonging to those customers who showed up. They thought for a day of shopping and instead witnessed the latest mass killing here in a public place. Those customers were unable to drive their cars away from the outlet mall. They had to find another way home. Now, we're about to show you some video as this shooting was happening. You will not see anything graphic, but we want to warn you it can be upsetting. Within just a matter of minutes, videos like that one started showing up on social media, giving us all an idea of the gunfire and the panic from the shoppers here. Shortly after 3.30 yesterday, witnesses described a shooter dressed in black, began shooting in front of the H&M store. And by the time they were done, seven people were dead here on scene and several more hit. An eighth person would die at the hospital. We'll get an update from the hospital here in a moment. The shooter was also killed on scene, and Allen police say it was an officer responding to a totally different call at the mall that helped stop the shooter from taking any more lives. He heard gunshots, located the gunshot, located the shooter, neutralized the shooter, neutralized the threat. We believe at this point that the shooter acted alone. We are asking for the public's help. If you were a witness, if you have any video. Now, as for who this shooter was, within a matter of hours, police and FBI agents made their way to a home on Piper Lane in northeast Dallas. Resources tell us they were interviewing the shooter's family. Those sources also tell us that the man was in his 30s, although we do not have his exact identity or any possible motivations at this point. But we did talk to neighbors who told us they would see him around the house, often dressed in dark clothing, and this is how they described his behavior to us. He just looked a little, a little off. Just got that weird vibe from him, like somebody, you know, just kind of, it's not all there. He just kept to himself, just quiet. And neighbors also told us that they would see a gray charger parked in front of that home. That is the same vehicle description of a car that was seen here at the mall from our helicopter. We could see it. It was in the parking lot with the doors open. Now, the H&M store did send out a statement. That is the store where the shooting happened, right out in front. They said that all of their employees are safe and accounted for. However, they will remain closed today, as we imagine most of the shops in this outlet mall, if not all, will because this investigation is happening. Allen police say they will reconvene to con resume their investigation at 9 o'clock in the morning. So far, we've not gotten any information for the shoppers who were here when or how they'll be able to retrieve their cars, but we will update that information throughout the day as we get it. For now, I want to send it to my colleague, Matt Houston. He is in McKinney at Medical City, City McKinney with an update on the victims, including those that lost their lives, Matt. Yeah, doctors here are treating at least seven victims, perhaps even an eighth. A hospital spokesperson tells us their ages range from just five years old to 61. Truly a, a heartbreaking number there. The state designates certain hospitals based on their ability to care for the most serious injuries. A level one trauma center has the most resources for that kind of treatment. McKinney Medical City is a level two trauma center, so plenty of resources to take care of those folks. We don't know how much, we don't know much about these victims, rather beyond their age ranges, only that they were at the Allen Premium Outlets yesterday with hundreds of other people. Police went store to store, clearing shoppers to go outside. Eventually, many walked out of the mall with hands above their heads, 
Some described hearing the gunshots, others only experienced the chaos to follow. People just start running in the store. Um, the manager did a real good job. He locked the, locked the doors, locked the, locked the store. And I went to the back of the building, back of the store, and all you just heard was gunshots for like five minutes. It's messed up. Uh, my mom's pretty torn up. I know I'm gonna have some thinking to do after this. Now, State Representative Jeff Leach will host a vigil for victims tonight at Cottonwood Creek Baptist Church. That happens at 5 p.m. It is open to the public, just a few miles from where we are right now in McKinney. We're going to have another update for you on these victims here in the next half hour or so. For now, I'm Matt Houston. Mark, back to you. Okay, Matt, thank you for that update this morning. Meanwhile, the White House says President Biden is staying aware of the investigation. Officials issued a statement that the president has been briefed on the shooting in Allen, Texas. They also say that officials are in touch with law enforcement to offer support. Likewise, Texas Governor Greg Abbott yet again offering thoughts and prayers, saying in a statement, I have offered the full support of the state of Texas to local officials to ensure all needed assistance and resources are swiftly deployed. We've also heard from Allen ISD this morning. The school district says it will have counselors available tomorrow for those who need it. Officials say they will release more information to parents and students sometime later today. Be sure to stay with us. We're going to continue our coverage on the shooting throughout the hour, and you can get the very latest anytime online at WFAA.com and on our WFAA mobile app.